If you run Amazon PPC, there's one neglected strategy that most sellers don't even pay attention to that could save you thousands of dollars, if not tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. Not only does this make your campaigns more profitable, but it also makes them more relevant as well, which makes them even more profitable. This will lower your ACOs. This will increase your profits, which means more cash in your pocket. And what is that strategy? It's negative keywords, but it's not what you're thinking. And in this video, I'm gonna explain what negative keywords are, how to use them, and how to best use them to put more cash into your pocket. And then finally, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how I'm uploading these into auto, broad, phrase campaigns, how I do it automatically with software so I don't even have to think about it, and then also how to do it manually inside of Campaign Manager. Now, I'm Dr. Travis Ziegler. I'm a retired optometrist turned e-commerce entrepreneur. I've built up my net worth to over $5 million over the last 10 years by building and selling companies. And I'm also the owner of Profitable Pineapple Ads Agency, which is a marketing agency. We have a free Amazon PPC masterclass, which you're watching a section of it right here, and that's available at ProfitablePineapple.com. All right, enough about me, let's jump in. We're now going to build out your negative lists. Negative lists are so crucial to upload into your auto and your broad campaigns. Your auto and your broad campaigns, you're relying on Amazon, not so much in the broad, but in the auto to show for whatever you want to show it for. And so with that comes a lot of wasted ad spend. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a negative phrase list and negative exact list. And these negative phrases can be very simple. And these simple phrases will help save you thousands of dollars over the long run. I'm gonna give you a quick example of this and then we'll jump into doing it for this one. But I sold an eye cream. I didn't wanna show up for hand cream, foot cream, body cream, or any other kind of cream. And so what I did is I created a negative phrase around hand, foot, feet, body, and any kind of other cream. So Amazon isn't smart enough, you think they would be, to, to not show my eye cream for like a hand cream or a foot cream or a body cream, and you're gonna get a lot of wasted ad spend. There's other probably phrases that you can think of, but these are just one word phrases, one word, one word. I don't know how to explain it any better. It's one word that has nothing to do with your product that Amazon might show up for. So that's what we want to do when we build out our negatives is think like that. You can do this in the initial keyword research that we did back in module one. You can find different phrases in there, but you can also do it by looking in your campaigns as well. And then also looking at your search term report, multiple different ways that we can do this. Let's first look at your search term report. And so we can come over here. We already, during the quartile build, we found a negative ASIN right there. Now we can look at the search term report and try to find other ones. So I'm gonna open this back up and I'm actually just gonna highlight these green just so we know which ones are which. All right, so we're gonna open this back up. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna sort by ACOS. I wanna find anything that just has a high ACOS that just might be causing lots of spend to occur. 138% ACOS, natural heartburn relief. We're pretty, I mean, that's pretty much what we are. We're reflux, acid reflux relief, heartburn. We are not an antacid. I don't wanna show up for an antacid. When somebody is searching for an antacid, they're probably looking for an antacid. It's gonna be hard to convert them. It's gonna take a lot of education to convert them. So antacid is gonna go on the negative list. Alginate. I don't know what this is, so let's look it up real quick. Naturally occurring on seaweed. So our product does not have alginate in it. So I'm gonna add that to the negative phrase. Natural acid reflux, kidney stone, that's a different product. Dr. Berry's hiatal hernia. We're getting into more acceptable acoses down here, obviously, and I'm not gonna worry about any of those. So alginate, we actually had a 29% acos on it, but conversion rate was 20%. So maybe I don't wanna do that one. Um, let's look at the antacid one, 35%, 20%. So I'm actually gonna take those two off because it seems like they're converting pretty well for us. So I'll take those two off the list, but this is the thought process you have to go through. Now what I'm gonna do is just sort it by lots of clicks. So let's find something that's given us lots of clicks, but maybe no sales. Right here, anxiety relief, that's a different milk thistle, that's a different product. So not really much information that we can go off from here. So let's go over to our campaign manager. And one of the best sources that you can find for this is your auto campaigns. And so as your auto campaigns have been running, or if you've had auto campaigns running in the past, click into them, go to negative targeting, just make sure you don't if you have a negative list already, but go into the ATM and it looks like we don't have any words in here so far. So search terms. And then what I like to do is sort it by clicks. And you can see natural heartburn relief isn't really doing that well for us. And that could be because we don't have the word heartburn in our listing at all. So let's see. This is our website, but very similar. We're, we're sold out of it. So we do have heartburn in there. Going back to this. Okay, so hiatal hernia relief. Acid reflux, reflux, natural antacid, sodium alignate, acid reflux, hiatal hernia, hiatal hernia, peppermint oil capsules for IBS. So we have nothing to do with IBS. So I'm going to make IBS a negative keyword. 
because like I said, Amazon likes to show you for things and we don't have peppermint oil. So I'm going to put that in there as well, but I'm going to separate it into peppermint, just peppermint. That will cover everything peppermint. Organic all natural acid flux relief, heal stomach ulcers, reflux raft. That I don't know what it is. So let's Google it. Reflux raft. Looks like it is a brand name. I don't like to go after brand name. So we're going to go after that as a negative phrase. Of course, do your diligence because let's say that that is getting us sales, then we'd probably want to keep it. And so I'm just going down this stomach relief, Dr. Colon. I want nothing to do with colon because we have nothing to do with colons. We just have everything to do with heartburn. Uh, gas, we are not a gas relief, I don't believe. Uh, yeah, I guess it does help, so we'll leave that there. Oil for guns, gums, nothing to do with gums. And we don't have any ginger. Ginger is more for na nausea. Uh, let's see, let's keep going. Omoprezol, they're looking for a prescription, so I'm going to put that in here. Drinks, we are not a drink. Okay, Dr. Barry Tan, herbs, GERD, supplementos, book, we're not a book. I want to show up for that. We are not Pepto-Bismol, which is that. So we're going to do, and so you can see all of these words that they're just getting one click here or there, but it can cause a lot of wasted expense. Let's just go to page two a little bit. These are all one click words, but still when they all add up, they can be a lot. So we'll just keep looking. I think that's pretty good. Spleen supplement. We are not for spleens. Might as well put liver in there too. Esophageal health, natural pepsid. Pepsid is of course a prescription. Drinks, there it is again. Okay, yeah, that's probably good. All right, so now we have this negative phrase list. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how we upload it. Now we didn't find any negative exact for this one, but you may find negative exacts in there as well. Again, the difference is a negative phrase is gonna rule out anything that uses that word. So anything that has the word or phrase, anything that has the word IBS in it, no matter what phrase it's in, it will exclude that word. If you do exact for IBS, only if they type in IBS will it be excluded. So negative phrases, be very careful with them. You don't have to build them out extravagantly, but a good 10 to 20 to 30 keywords in that negative phrase list will save you a lot of money. All right, in the next video, I'll show you how to upload them. All right, now we're going to talk about adding negatives. And I do this weekly, but I also do it whenever I do a launch and upload new broad and eight auto campaigns and even phrase if you're using phrase. Sometimes I use phrase, most of the time I use broad and auto. The key thing with that is just know that they're all kind of discovery campaigns. Yes, you can scale broad and auto phrase campaigns, but usually keywords inside those don't scale. It's more the campaign is scaling in general. And then when you have a keyword that's scaling, we take it out to exact. So that's why we do that. But you'll see some phrase in here occasionally, but don't worry about that. Mostly use broad and auto for this, but you're going to notice also that this video two is the same as video four, or if you're watching it on video four, it's the same as video two. That's because uploading negatives is the same regardless of what you're doing. You just need to know that you need to do it. That's pretty much what I'm trying to get at here. Negative keywords just help refine your targeting with your Amazon PPC campaigns, and this prevents your ads from showing to irrelevant or unprofitable searches. The impact of negative is only realized when you're added comprehensively to both new campaigns you create, as well as those existing campaigns already accumulating data. I'm going to show you how how to do that in this video. So let's jump in. We're going to be doing this again for broad auto and phrase. And so that's ones that start with BR. So we're going to do the enabled campaigns that start with BR. And you can even do this by portfolio if you have multiple products. And you can see right here that this is 35%. 17% and 16%, I'm not going to worry about those. Yes, you could ref continue to refine these if you want, but you don't need to because they're already doing such good ACOS numbers. Again, my target is 83%. So let's just take a look at this one, it's making the most sales. And I'll show you my process of adding negatives on a weekly basis. And so the first thing I want to check is to make sure I have negative keywords in here. So it's either going to be at this level. Yep. So right here. So I've already uploaded my negative list that I created in a previous video. You see right here. And yep, it looks like that's in there. And then I'm going to go back out to the ad group level. And if I'm going to find new negatives, I'll go into the ad group level. I'll look at search terms and I'll just see if there's a lot that are sp spending a lot, making a lot of clicks. So what I'll do here is I'll go over here to spend and sort it by spend. Let me see if I can shrink that. I can't. So the ones that are spending the most are actually making the most sales. So let me see. Let's get this over here. Okay, there we go. All right. So 14%, 53%, 26%. Heidel hernia tool. That's interesting. Let's go over to Amazon and look at what that is. So I don't know if our supplies for tool, which is an interesting keyword, because I'm guessing they're looking for something pretty specific. Heidel hernia tool. That's interesting. So they're probably looking for more of this belt. 
And so I might add that to my negative keyword list. As you can see here, it's gotten about 10 clicks, or no, three clicks, so not too concerning yet, but it's spent about 10 bucks, so a little concerning there. Um, and then I'm just gonna look through these and see if anything else kind of pops out the page. Probiotics kinda does. Don't think that's a big search term. So yeah, let's take tool. I'm gonna leave it here for now because it's only gotten three clicks, but let's just, we'll put that on our radar for maybe adding this as a negative. So you can click that, add as a negative phrase, and that will add it to the negative phrase list. And so then, um, or you can do it as as exact and then I'd put tool as the negative phrase and the reason that is is because it just doesn't make sense for me so I know I just said that I'm not going to put it in, but I'm going to put it in because it just doesn't make sense for my product. All right, that's all of the optimization I'd do for that broad match campaign. Not really much needed there, but let's continue to look at some other broad. And we don't have anything else that needs optimized. Let's look at these though over here. Um, they've only done one click, one click, two clicks in the last 30 days. So we did that 30 day attribution window just like I showed you. Fourth to the fourth, today's August 7th. All right, let's look at phrase match. Like I said, you may not have phrase matches and we don't use them much, but occasionally I like to test them just to see what's going on. So we have one phrase match going, uh, 10 clicks or 10 orders in 80. So that's pretty good. I think we could optimize that a little better. ACOS is starting to creep closer to our target. And so let's take a look at this one. Let's see if we can make it a little more efficient. So this is for our other product. Let's make sure our negative keywords are uploaded, which is right here. So you can see all of these negative keywords. And if you want to test, you can always do this. Actually, I'm going to add tool since we just talked about it. And then we're going to go into here, add negative keywords, phrase, and let's see. Yep, so tool is the only one. So we've already added all those. So same thing here. It's been going for a while. So I'm going to add or go to the ad group level. Now that I'm here, I'm going to go into search terms. And I'm just going to see what's spending the most and see if we can make it more efficient or not. So let's look here. All right. So 19 clicks, four orders, 159. So look right here, this one right here, 11 clicks, $45 spent for the search term acid reflux. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make that a negative exact. Obviously I don't wanna make it negative phrase because this is a phrase campaign on acid reflux. But when somebody's searching acid reflux exact, I've gotten 11 clicks on that in the last 45 days, or 40, I've spent $45, which is over the cost of my product. So I'm gonna make that a negative exact because I don't wanna show up for that exact keyword anymore. Let's scroll down here and acids for acid reflux. I'm doing okay with that, I'll leave it as is and then let's see clicks six not doing too bad here it's not over my spend for my product and it's not too many clicks yet like i said i like to be a little more aggressive with this with 10 clicks because i like to keep my conversion rate high this is 18 percent, and then some of these other ones getting a low in the clicks so i'm not going to worry about those too much so let's look at that negative targeting you can see right here acid reflux is now a negative exact i'm going to bring it over here put it in here i know that sounds crazy but it just doesn't serve well as an exact because it's a browse based keyword and so it's going to be harder to get a lot of clicks that convert for that keyword. I hope that makes sense. But that's what we're doing as far as optimizing every week. And then what I also like to do is just look for new ones. So Quartile is going to be constantly creating new campaigns for you. And so whenever they create new ones, you want to make sure that you upload your negatives to them. So what I like to do is just take out all filters, sort it by start date, and you can see it's created a couple in the last week. They're all exact match though. And then this is a audience one. Um, let me take a look at that one. But most of these are other launched. So there's no broad or a phrase, but let's just say this was a phrase or a broad campaign that was launched in the last week. What I'll do is I'll click into it and I'll add my negative keyword list. So I'd add it right here. So I'd go over here, grab it, and I'd add it right here. And this is for broad phrase and auto campaigns that were just done. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why are you uploading a negative to exact match? I, I'm just showing you that for an example. You don't need to upload negatives to exact match because exact match is only going to show for this search term. I hope that makes sense. All right. Let me know if you have any questions down below. All right, so we no longer have to go back into Campaign Manager to add our negative phrase and negative exact match into broad and auto campaigns. Quartile now has a functionality that we can actually upload it to here, and then we can make it negative phrase or negative exact. And when we upload it here, it will then take it over to Campaign Manager when they're creating the campaigns automatically. So let me show you how to do that. When you're in your Amazon account, or excuse me, Quartile account, click on Amazon here and then select your brand right there, and that will pop up all the tools. We're then going to come to Management, Product, Products. And when you come to products, it will actually pull up this one first, just all the way to the right here. Click negative list. We're then going to add new negative list. So eight greens, negative, select type, phrase, product, put your ASIN in here. Hit save. There's your first one. Then it will be down here once you have saved it. So there it is. And then you just have to do that for each one. Now, of course, putting those in individually is going to take a long time. And so what you can actually do is you can create it inside a spreadsheet. So let me open up this spreadsheet a little bit more. And what I did is I did negative phrase. I put phrase in here and then I put the ASIN right here. And I just took all this and I hit copy. I went back to Quartile. 
and I just pasted it in right here. So I just clicked right there and hit paste. You can see some of these are already in here. So it's not gonna let me save until I get rid of all those. You can see it won't let me save yet. So I'm gonna scroll down and look at which ones are already in here. That one's already in here. That one's already in here. You may not have as extensive of a list as this, but like I always say, like you only need like five or 10 good phrase negatives. We just have a lot of things in this space with brand names and I just wanted to get rid of those and not really go after those brand names. All right, looks good. Then we'll click save. All right, so that's all the phrase ones that are in there. Now let's go back over here. We're gonna do that same thing for exact. I know it sounds crazy to have acid reflux be an exact match campaign or exact match, but it's very expensive. So that's why we do it. It's like $13 a click. Right, we'll go back to Quartile. Same thing. Click that. Get rid of the ones that are already added. And then hit save. Now you can see down here, we have nine exact, nine phrase, and a product even. So if you want to do ASINs as well, it's in there. And now every time you create a broad or an auto, or even with Quartile creates a broad or auto campaign or phrase, it will now have these negative lists uploaded automatically. This was just one chapter in my free Amazon PPC masterclass, which is better than any paid course out there, in my opinion. We've only just scratched the surface. To unlock even more profitability with your advertising, continue watching this full Amazon PPC masterclass. I put the video right here so you can click it and watch that entire Amazon PPC masterclass. If you want this entire Amazon PPC masterclass emailed to you, make sure you head to ProfitablePineapple.com and sign up for our free Amazon PPC masterclass. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Good job. <laughs>